It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us again live from Swamico. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning. Well, it's breakfast time. You can see Al and Tootie are uh, having their breakfast. And you see what we feed them, you know, it's a variety of different fruits and vegetables. Uh, they also get a tortoise chow. So it looks like dog food, like a dry dog food, but it actually is a tortoise chow that is, uh, uh, has everything that these guys need. Now you can see when they're eating, you know, uh, tortoises and turtles, they don't have teeth. What they do is have a bony plate. So what they can do is it kind of shears the food. What's interesting is uh, Tootie came over to the dishes first, and here's what's great. You know, if you're the first tortoise to the dish, you can check the one dish out, and if you don't like what's in that one, you can go over to the other one. That's what she did. She made a choice. She'd rather have, <laughs> have this one. So she came over and started eating here. Al came over on this side. How long will that last, so that kinda, food? <laughs> Well, you know, this will last them a couple hours. They'll kind of take their time, but you'll see, they'll pick out the different things that they like in there. So they'll start eating different, different items. A lot of times it's the red items. You can see right now he picked that. He likes the, the strawberries, apples. We've got nectarines, radishes. Uh, they really like the red color. Now, if he was to get startled, and here's what's interesting with them that's different than us for respiration, is these guys, when they get startled, of course, it's going to pull his head in. When he does that, you're going to hear a hissing sound, and you hear that with different turtles and tortoises like that, okay? What that is, is all the air is coming out of the lungs. That's the only way they can fit their neck and their head back into their body. But what they do is they have a much higher CO2 tolerance. So their blood levels can handle a lot more CO2. So if we were to hold our breath, you can hold your breath for a while, and as the CO2 level builds in your blood, you got to take a breath. These guys are all designed so that uh, what they can do is they can go ahead and not have to breathe as much. They can have those CO2 levels rise, and they're still good to go. So that's one of their protections as well. But you see, like I said, they, they love their food. They love different items in here. You know, then in, once we open up the exhibit for them, uh, then they'll go out and graze with the different grasses out there. One other thing I wanted to show you really quick too is uh, they are, you know, they're really smart. So what we do is train them, you know, different, you know, different train the sea lion or anything. These are what we call targets. So what the keepers will do is they'll work with them and they'll have them target. They'll put their nose, stretch their neck out. So that way we can check out them, you know, to make sure everything neck, uh, the whole body, everything looks good. And if we had to do any particular procedures, say we had to take blood from them or whatever, we go ahead and practice with those. So they're really smart. They pick this up real quick. Huh. They know they got to put their nose to, to the target and then they get rewarded. And the reward might be simply just touching them. Now that, it's like with the shell too, real quick is they can feel this light touch like this on their shell. It's huh. no different than you or I feeling the top of your fingernail. It's the same feel. You know, where you think, well, no, they can't feel this, but this would actually wake him up if I touched him like this, if he was in a sound sleep. And all of Northeast Wisconsin just touched their fingernails. <laughs> just see what that feels like. <laughs> they did. They really Neil, did. Neil, thank you so much. It was fun right. watching them eat breakfast. We'll be right back. You're watching <laughs> Good Day, good. Wisconsin.